Hello, everyone. This is Ty Slatt. Antonio Turner. Welcome to another edition of GTA Heat Check, brought to you by GTA Sports Network. Follow us on all social media platforms. Subscribe to our YouTube channel, GTA Sports. And don't forget GTAsports.com for all things in world sports. I want to congratulate Antonio Turner. <laughs> for? For putting up with Brandon Staley as long as you have. Oh, God. For, for one. For one. For one. Let me start there. Let me start oh, there. God. For two. No. For you to sit at Lucas Oil Stadium last night. With all the chaos going on in Lucas Oil Stadium last right. night, Damn. Nick Foles threw three picks. I'm I'm not even gonna start with that game because no, not not. Good. no, because I'm I'm mostly I am my head hurts. I'm not even gonna do you like that. No, why? I, I can tell you, I'll tell you why I sat there. Okay, I'm listening because you paid for I it. Sat there because I spent money for the tickets. Yep. Because <laughs> <laughs> I've been to see like this. Yeah. We just yeah. looking like this, like. Oh, I already know. I already and know. the Chargers we- weren't helping the situation. Oh, for sure. <laughs> I'm like, they taking, they overtaking the coast for granted. Which yeah. they should. They're yeah. not taking advantage of it, though. I'm like, no, no. you right. You- he throwing a pick. Nick Foles threw a pick. Herbert throws, oh, God. Game over yet? <laughs> Man, so, so here's what we finna do. We finna break this thing down. We're gonna go ahead and get into the results of week 15. Because there were some games in here that I feel should have went one way and they went the other, and it cost me some money ultimately, or potential to win was marginalized by a couple of these games. Right. Oh, so, yeah, it's going to be a little bittersweet talking about this, but we're going to go ahead and knock it out. First <laughs> and foremost, Thursday night matchup for Amazon Prime, if you have Prime, because I ain't got Prime, and I ain't getting Prime no time soon. Uh, The Jaguars beat the Jets up with Zach Wilson. Zach Wilson's return was foiled by – Sunshine, as oh, projected. we we seen it coming, right? It's lit. Yeah, hey, I told you. Told you about Jacksonville at the beginning of the season. I had, hey, hey, I didn't argue with you. I was, I was agreeing with. They got too many losses, but they still about to win the division, and they still about to get to the playoffs. Because I didn't think they were gonna lose that many games. They lost some games they should lost, but shout out, shout out. To it is what it is. Shout out to Doug Pearson, head coach of the Jaguars, for bringing in a Blue winning culture. Champion. For bringing in a winning culture, unlike his former, co- unlike his former backup Nick Foles last night. But anyway, uh, I thought about Urban Meyer. <laughs> no, no, I'm talking about Peterson and Nick Foles got a championship in Philly back in the day. Uh, no, right. but uh, mm-hmm. yeah, he wasn't looking like a championship quarterback last night. Man, man. Was terrible. Last night was horrible. So, uh, Trevor Lawrence, 20 of 31 to 29. No touchdowns in the air, right? But he did get one on the ground, 51 yards on the rush. So, that puts him at well over about eh, about 3, 23, 30 on the yard. Yeah, I do a lot to beat the uh, Zach Wilson Jets. Nah, nah, nah. He had to go yeah, all out. According to reports, nah. Mike White is um, physically clear. He, well, you got, got Zach doctors. Wilson going for 93 yards with his passing rushing combined with no touchdowns. He, he, yeah. You ain't got to do too much. Yeah, Mike White isn't back into the starting lineup as a quarterback. He is cleared by doctors to come back this week. Yeah, Zach Wilson yeah. done in New York. According to well, Stephen A. Smith, he, he predicted this last week. So, Zach Wilson's done in New York. Zach Wilson is up there with Jamarcus Russell. Yeah. You know how hard that is to do? You know what's so funny? Just this time last year, you was talking about, do you see that shake and bait that Zach Wilson? He's like, oh, oh, oh. You remember, the like- you remember the crossover? Hey, when, you, um, when you start disrespecting your teammates and losing your game. <laughs> no, I didn't lose us the game. Oh, yes, you did. Yes, you did. Yes, you, you did. Lost, you not only lost this game for us, you yeah. lost the respect of the locker room that same day. I'm saying, not just the Jaguars game. Was it two months ago when you saw? Yeah. You talking mad cash with that press. No, I didn't think I lost us the game. Defense gave up three points. <laughs> <laughs> what are you talking You're the about? The captain of the ship and the ship went down. Exactly. You know, Jets were going to the playoffs. Now I got the same record as Jaguars. I don't think y'all gonna make it. They not. They not. <laughs> the Jets were on their way to the playoffs in spite of their quarterback. Yeah, and they might get the single-handedly torpedoed their season. That's the worst part. The quarterback, the coach might get fired too in the process. It's not even his fault. I know, but when you lose, uh, you they were seven and five. Now it's seven and eight. 
Yeah, I think actually, if I'm not mistaken, they were seven and four. Yeah. I'm pretty sure he lost four straight games. One, two. No, nah, okay, they got one in there. They lost four or five though. Oh. And one game was against the Bears. Don't talk to me. I'm just gonna move on. Let's move on from this conversation. Please and thank you. We're just gonna move on because we're giving the Jets and Jaguars too much airtime. Absolutely. They are gonna make the playoffs, though. I'm making that hot take right now. The, the Jets, Jets are? and the Jaguars are gonna oh, be a Jackson, wild card. They're no, Jets gonna win the uh, division. Oh, so disrespectful. It's facts. All right. So uh, meanwhile, the Falcons is falconing. Um, five and ten, tank the season. Who? Falcons. Oh, Falcons and uh, Ravens. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Without without uh, Lamar Jackson, of course, as Huntley was back in the lineup. Lamar be back this week. Giving us uh, Geno Smith vibes. Yeah, Lamar be back this week. They just trying to get through it. And, I mean, for the most part, they're doing it. They're 10 and 5. I mean, they're like, mm-hmm. it's, like, mm-hmm. it's enough I mean, to beat the Falcons. We don't expect much from him, but. Yeah, I mean, it's enough to beat the Falcons. It's enough to be, exactly. It ain't enough to beat the <laughs> top-tier team, though. You can't do nothing against that good good team. Oh, absolutely not. Now, this <laughs> game right here cost me money. I don't, I don't even want to spend too much time on this one. The Lions lost to the Panthers. Don't ask me how. I don't they didn't lose. They got beat. Jared Goff, Jared Goff had good numbers. I'm not even mad at his numbers. For his standards, 25 of 42, 355, three yards, no picks. I, I really don't feel like it was Goff's fault. Yeah, it looked like their defense didn't help him. But that's been their problem all season. They just got exposed by one of the worst teams in the league. Yeah, they gave up. Oh, God. <clears throat> they gave up 17 let, points in the second quarter alone. You let Sam Darnold. This is good go numbers off. for Sam Darnold. Go off. And Devontae Foreman. Yep. You let and, Sam Darnold. And Hubbard. Uh, yeah. Chubb they gave up 300 yards rushing. Yeah. yeah. And Sam Darnold got a touchdown run. Wow. So their defense was just like a turnstile. Yeah, their defense was atrocious. Yeah, I'm not. Yeah, that's how you. Yeah, I don't know if the Lions gonna get in now. Nah, not well. They got exposed. Yeah, I don't know if they're gonna get well, in. Well, I think we've known all year that um, the Lions' de- weakness was. Defense. But this is a good year though. Seven wins is good. Oh, they overachieved. Shots by being him. Y'all won three games last year. Yeah, exactly. Y'all were cheap by four extra games. I thought maybe five at best. So y'all went. Dan saved his job this year. Oh, absolutely. He got Dan's right. Dan's not getting oh, fired. Not, not we're, Dan. We're not treating Dan Campbell like Nathaniel Hackett. Oh, no. Right? Uh, what's the name? Jared Goff might save his job, too. Oh, big facts. He's getting an extension. Because he was him. almost. He, he was, was on his way out. He was, he was on his way out. out. Nah, for real. He was on his way out. But uh, uh, Sam Darnold saved his job, too. Yeah. Oh, no, don't do that. Don't do that because the Panthers yeah, good game, but I he can still the Panthers could the Panthers could have a winning record if they keep this up. No, they can't. Why can't they? How many games left? They lost nine. They got two games left. It's five hundred. Eight nine, right under it. But he, I mean, if he win, he gotta win them both for me to he gotta, respect. He gotta win it. He gotta win out. He's he not beating Tom out. Brady, so it's not gonna happen. You said what? They got to tell you still Tampa Bay left. They're not beating Tom Brady. Oh damn. We'll get into that. We'll get into that. <laughs> Meanwhile, Chiefs is cheaping over here against the Seahawks over in uh, Arrowhead. Oh, God. 24 to 10. I must see here. had an average game. Yeah. He, uh, he, he came down off the clouds he was on at the beginning of the season. He's looking mm. real mid right now. Yeah, exactly. That's what I'm looking at. Like, oh, God. 215, one yard, one pick. Uh-uh. We need at least mm. two touchdowns if you don't throw a pick now. That's the OG, you know, coming back to life. Yeah, it really is. Uh, Kenneth no, I'll give him the benefit of the doubt, though. That weather is crazy. Yeah, but. The weather this weekend. You know, the last three weeks really been looking kind of I, mid, Well, man. I saw this week. I give him the benefit of the doubt because it was cold everywhere. Kansas yeah, City. But he had players out there with no shirt on, so I don't want to hear that excuse. Yeah, that ain't my fault. Hey, I, Gino wasn't out there with no shirt on. I, yo, just, you just the captain. You just the captain. Just, just because Superman put a damn shirt on. Don't Just because DK won't go out there like uh, Aquaman and shit with no shirt on. Don't put a damn shirt on. Exactly. It's too cold for that. All right. Saints and Browns. Uh, this game here was another uh, coin toss for me because the Browns actually were favorited, I believe, to win this game. 
They were. You said the Saints. I said I could really care less. I said the Saints, and so I hedged the bet when I made oh, the God. bet. I hedged it. But it, was, but it was close, though. They numbers are atrocious. Yeah, you see my point? The quarterback numbers are atrocious. I don't, why are we even talking about it? I don't even exactly. know. Exactly. I didn't know it was that bad. <laughs> it was that bad. That game was ugly, okay? It was an ugly win. Uh, Saints did their thing, though. Uh, Bengals handled their business uh, against Belichick. I ain't gonna lie. In the fourth, it quarter, almost had a. The what's the name? Almost got fired. That's almost a fireball offense, Zach Taylor. I'm gonna keep it real with you. When you look at the box score, oh, I watched this game, but when you look at the box score, I was at work and watched it. Yeah, Zach Taylor almost lost this game. He almost got fired because they came all the way back and it was up 22 zero <clears throat> to the middle of the third quarter. It was that bad. I looked up and said 18 to 22. I said, what? What just happened? Yeah, that's the Belichick effect. Yeah, he's, he's, I ain't going out like that. He ain't going out like that, baby. Well, they start fumbling the ball. Burrow threw a pick. So I said, what the? F-? Hey, I mean. They got the um, luckiest touch I've ever seen in my life. Which <laughs> he threw one? The ball. Which he one? The one to uh, Moore. Kendrick Moore. Yeah, yeah. Oh, no. He threw it up to Kendrick Moore. Jacoby Myers called it. He was double teamed. They spot throw it down and Jacoby just right there. Oh shit! Touchdown! Wait. Excuse my life. Yeah. Okay. I'll give Mac Daddy his credit. He had a better game than he did mm-hmm. with Vegas. Oh but yeah. He, but those numbers are out there too. He gotta do better. He gotta do better. I mean, now, meanwhile, true. your Vikings had me on edge because I was a little nervous about this. I ain't gonna lie. This, this, I know, I know what you're gonna say. Kevin O'Connell got y'all. From losing by no, three to winning by three. No, it pissed me off. Ugh, this game pissed me off. It, it was too close for comfort. It was way too close. They just the Vikings, all these close wins, they deserve to lose them. It came down, bro. He, the kicker you're kicked. A Vikings fan, you're not allowed to say that. <laughs> he kicked the six. He never kicked more than fifty six yard field goal. He kicked the extra five yards to win the game. He's just making sure that his pro bro, <laughs> his pro bowl leg is up oh. to snuff. Uh huh. Justin Tucker kicking sixty plus. So that's what I'm saying. The uh, great sure your kicker is sharp. That's all. He's never kicked a six. He never hit a sixty yarder in his career till Sunday, till Saturday. Hey, y'all basically saying, look, we don't need Justin Tucker. We got our kicker. Yeah, all right. Our kicker did what he's supposed to do. Yeah, this is crazy because our numbers look good. Kirk Cousins numbers look good, but you win by three. Well, you're in, you already caught it at the beginning of the season. Your secondary is what's going to cost you on the play. Yeah. I mean, when you look at Dale Jones' numbers to pair Kirk Cousins, you're like, how in the world? I'm I'm telling you what – I mean, Kirk Cousins' numbers is good. Like, it's not – I know. Dale Jones is not. The <laughs> offense is not your problem. I know. According to your rule, you got to have – Oh, he's touchdowns. violating. Oh, I see it. Dale I'm, Jones? <laughs> yeah. I'm Danny Dimes? Oh, this is not this is unacceptable. And you only lose by three though with that number. Because because his running he got he got bark. That's key code. That's why. <laughs> right. I'm like, how in the world do you when you when you go for 334, it's a lot of that's a lot of air ball. Like you mm. get a lot of air time. And you only got one touchdown to show for it. Nah, buddy. They only that, they only got one. They got all field goals, really. That's what that kept them. Cut it. Your field, your kicker we really went to work that game. Hey, but Justin Jefferson might be MVP. I'm okay with that. If he gets 2,000, he's 230 yards away from being the first game left. Is it two games left or three? Two games left. He can hit it. He averages 115 a game. So, if he gets 115 the next two games, the problem is I don't want to play him in the last game. That's the problem. I understand your, your concern. You don't want to get hurt. That's your number one weapon. I you need him in the playoffs. That's the problem. Because then cause what's going to happen is KJ Osborne going to step up again. You'll be like, yeah, I don't know. I mean, and Thielen. I don't know. And, oh, and we didn't see Michelle at Thielen this year, so y'all had a couple games where KJ Osborne showed you some 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 promise. He's still but young, he, but can't do it every week. I don't yeah, know. He's still about young, it. young. That's the problem. I mean, we got TJ. TJ helped us this game. No, no, you're you're right. TJ TJ Hawkinson had a good game. 109, yeah. two touchdowns. Now this now this is what we signed him for. This, this game this is what we traded this is for. What we signed him for. Mm-hmm. If you a skull, you probably you should be proud of what TJ produced. Oh, absolutely. 13 receptions, 109 yards, 8.4 average with two TDs. If I this is that. what you signed him for. And y'all got him for cheap. Y'all really got him for nothing. Y'all yeah, got him got for third nothing. round pick. So that's cheap in the NFL. Oh, absolutely. 